Bioshock 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. 2K Games is the company that made this game. Hello, everyone. Stephen George here. Guess what we're doing today? If you said, are we jumping into Bioshock 2? You'd be correct. I don't know how on earth you guessed it. That was exceptionally, exceptionally good guess. Uh, before we go too far, let me say a quick shout out and a huge thank you to all of our Patreon producers. Their names are scrolling along the bottom of the screen now. Thank you guys so, so much. If you're watching and you'd like to learn more about Patreon, how you can support Mal myself and the perks that come along with that, there's going to be a card on screen now, as well as a link in the description box down below. Now, Bioshock was an incredible game, and it was a game that I first experienced uh, for the channel. I had never played it before I, I brought it to the channel as a Let's Play, and that Let's Play, believe it or not, is nearly three years old. I did that Let's Play, or I started the Let's Play in September 2015, so... It's been a while since I played the first one, but I'm I'm now jumping into Bioshock 2. I'm very excited to experience what this game has to offer. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Hey, Steven, I didn't play or watch Bioshock 1. Can I experience this Let's Play? The answer to that is yes. This is a, a standalone game. From what I understand, basically all the Bioshocks are standalone games. That being said, there is inevitably going to be some things in Bioshock 2 that'll make a lot more sense if you have played or watched Bioshock 1. My advice is to play or watch Bioshock 1 because it's incredible. It is one of the most fun games I've played in years and also one of the best stories. So I'd highly recommend giving it a watch. I have a full Let's Play that I'll put in the description if you want to watch it. Now, if you don't want to watch it or you just need a refresher, IGN made a five-minute video that is incredible. It does such a good job of recapping the first Bioshock game in just five minutes, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So if you just need a refresher, or you don't want to watch the first one, you just want to want to know quick, you know, to the point what happened in the first one so you can jump into the second one, I'm going to put a link to that in the description as well. Highly recommend it. IGN did a really great job with that. Now, we get to jump into Bioshock 2. Now, as a reminder, this is blind. I have not played Bioshock 2. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen, um, but I am excited to play it. This game has been met with critical acclaim. People love this game, but uh, basically all the reviewers when this game came out many, many years ago said the same thing. Great game, but a very slow start. And the reason I'm saying that now is if that's true, if it's going to take you know a few episodes to kind of get going, please bear with me because... Apparently this game is fantastic, but many reviewers did say that it has a slow start, so it might take a while to, to get its footing, but when it does, apparently it's going to be fantastic. So let's uh, start a new game. We're going to do medium, because I believe that medium is normal. And uh, I guess wish me luck. Splicer is the term used to describe inhabitants of Rapture whose excessive use of plasmids has wrecked their minds. But you knew that already, because you watched that five-minute video or you remember the original game. Right? Right. Uh, as a reminder, I am playing this on PC, and uh, I'm actually playing the remastered version, although I'm going to be honest, I don't think <laughs> the PC version of Bioshock 2 versus the PC version of Bioshock 2 remastered is going to be that different, but I'm playing remastered all the same. 1958, Beneath the Atlantic Ocean. It's you. Oh, that's sweet. Come here, little demon child. Let's go out to play, Daddy. That's me. I got some mad bling on, apparently. Mm. 
More angels, Daddy. This way. It's probably obvious, but all of this so far is just a cutscene. <gasps> it's also super weird to see Rapture before it went straight to hell. is Eleanor, and she is mine. Now, kneel, please. Remove your helmet. Now, take the pistol. Place it against your head. Wow, uh, Jesus, <laughs> that was, uh, that, what, that was a start, holy god, that, we're not playing around, ten years later, now, uh, Jack, uh, came to Rapture in 1960, that was 1958, so this would have been, is this eight years, I guess, then, after the events of Bioshock 1? I think so. Have I been laying on the floor for ten years? Wild. So I'm at the Vita Chamber. It's all coming back to me, man. It's all coming back to me. But I am playing as a big daddy. Adonis, uh... Luxury Resort. Huh. And I, it's... I can hear the faint whisperings of a little sister. By the chamber, brings you back to life. Fallen, fallen is Babylon. There's a bunch of photos. Don't see anything of, uh, of interest here. The little girl ran. Smash the coral. Cool. It's nice to, uh... It's nice to be, I guess, I could say back in the, in the, uh... The body of a Big Daddy, since we got to play as a Big Daddy at the, the end of Bioshock 1. Also, as a reminder, I will be speaking freely about Bioshock 1, so... Hopefully you have, by this point at least, watched the, uh that five-minute video or experience the uh, the Let's Play or played it on your own. Cool. Cool. Rapture's finest spa and getaway. Huh. It's actually pretty well lit, to be honest. Warning, high voltage, pool room generator. Oh, attention, workers. <laughs> what is this? Diaries are messages recorded by the people of Rapture, either as notes for themselves or as messages for the residents. Press and hold L to play the last diary you picked up. You can access a full list of diary messages from the M menu, uh, from which you can play back diaries you've previously acquired. Uh, there's a lot of lore. Delicious, delicious lore 
in Rapture, and I can't wait to hear it all. Play. Lesson one, Mop Jockeys. You are under the ocean now. If you feel the soft patter of rain on your hat, you're already fired. Lesson two. You can jumpstart a dead generator with a direct spark, but clear the guests out of the pool first. Scares these rich pricks to watch a working stiff hurling thunderbolts. You follow me? So there's a few things here. Um, if it works anything like Bioshock 1 did, I can't store this, right? So I, I don't store it. It's just I gain health, but my health was already full, so it doesn't seem to, uh, doesn't seem to matter. Am I tripping on this thing? <laughs> Looks like I'm tripping on this thing. Otherwise, it doesn't look like I'm really missing much. Um, that fell down, and it says, Lamb is watching. That's not horrifying. Uh, yeah, Bioshock is, of course... Uh, I, I, would, I would put it at least partially into the horror genre. Plasmid therapies. You did the family of service. You died. First aid kit, two dollars. Fantastic. What did you have? Thuggish splicer, canned beans. Head to the plasma therapy's wing to find a plasmid. Get current with electro bolt. Let's see if there's any other supplies around. And there is canned fruit. Can gain a little more health. Uh, there's a keypad code, one five, is that four? One five four oh. Uh, one five four oh, except. Sorry that that happened, uh, but you got eight dollars. We doggies. You are uh, generally rewarded for, uh, for exploring in this game, which is wonderful. I love that in games. Fitness. Go ahead and play that. My husband is such a perfect idiot. Throws away all his spending money on gene tonics to affect a look of physical fitness. So he'll have an excuse to sit on his rear all day listening to radio serials. Steven, I tell him, you want to be fit? Come swim laps with me, the old-fashioned way. It's your mind that's atrophying. Maybe I'll start sneaking some brain boost into his daily regimen. <laughs> Steven, come swim laps, is a phrase I don't want anyone to say to me. Uh, Eve dispenser. It, it dispenses Eve. Okay, well, I can't use it. Can I pick up an extra? Okay, I can have extra. Was this free? Dispensers were installed in certain areas of Rapture to aid in common tasks. They will produce one kind of tool. Use them to resupply if necessary. So, like, infinitely? No, okay. Uh, maybe it's on a timer. Maybe I'll be able to get some later. Oh, wait. No, it did it again. Because uh, in the in the original game, I could have up to nine. If this thing just dispenses out Eve to me, that's fantastic. I'm not sure why I could have so much right here at the beginning, but uh, sure, sign me up. Cannot carry anymore. Oh, okay, so I can only have five. Huh. Lamb is watching. So this woman might be Lamb. Um, I don't really know much about her, so we'll learn more in the future. Drill fuel. Cannot carry any more, so I'm full on that. Can I get through this? I guess not. Continuing forward. Father. Seem to have a, uh, a very close connection to that little sister. Treatment room one. All right. The most important thing, though, electric bolt, or electro bolt, rather, from Eleanor. Man, this uh, this is a very similar experience to Bioshock One. Daddy was sleeping for such a long time, and Eleanor has missed you. Find her and you'll be all better. 
Maybe I was gone for 10 years. Well, now I have Electro Bolt, and I have five uh, Eve Hypo, which is fantastic, so I can shoot that. Um, I can make those things work, but before I do, I'm going to check out these rooms. I know they're, <laughs> they're trying to instill, a, like, a sense of need. Like, run after the, the girl, and I'm like, okay, I will, but first... That's a, a torched corpse. Cigarette smoke? Pretty sure that doesn't help me at all. It will give you a very small boost of Eve but it will cause health complications. AKA, maybe, maybe not smoke. Maybe not. Maybe not do a smoke. Anything else of interest in here? I love, absolutely love the, uh, the art design of this game. Okay, I can't seem to get up there, so I will not try. I'll check this other room also before I head uh, out the other way. Dollars, $33. Money's going to be very important in the game. And we've got more cigarettes, which I do not need. Slim down! Sounds like you need to slim down. All right, so we grabbed everything that we could grab here. Uh, they're showing us now that we can use Electro Bolt to get out of the room. And there's actually more Eve Hypo. I can't pick up any more, but I also can't refill what I have. Like, I have to wait for it to naturally go down. And that's fine. Um... Shock an enemy and then quickly attack for critical damage. Shock him and clock him. What's up, bro? <laughs> Is there any more? Can make that work? Something's going. Did I get the lights back on? Oh, beautiful! Everything is as it should be. Ah, at last a signal. You, who are bringing this dead city to life, listen. My name, it is Tannenbaum. I know who you are, and I am in much need of your help. Please, find me in the Atlantic Express train station. Atlantic Express train station. And now I have a, uh, a gold marker, which is nice. Also opened up the uh, the windows, which was nice as well. Let's take a look at our uh, our map. We have a nice little map here. As a reminder, uh, the map is quite was was quite large in Bioshock One, so I'm sure that we have lots lots more to see. Was there anything of interest down here besides Lamb is watching? There's that guy I got. Fresh water. Not sure what fresh water. It says Eve gained from fresh water. Sure, I'll take it. And, uh, of course, we can also shock enemies that are standing in water and do massive damage to them, if not just outright kill them. Uh, Adonis Luxury Resort. Cashmere Restaurant ad. Now, am I on good terms with fellow Big Daddies? I don't know. I'm not sure if, like, we're friendly or if we're not friendly. Dames or gents, uh, can't go that way, but we can go this way a little bit. Don't see anything. To my daughter. To my daughter, Eleanor. Soon you will be born, and Rapture will be your home. You shall be raised as I was, to advance the common good through social psychiatry. This city's potential is immeasurable, Eleanor. Yet our beliefs are unwelcome here. Life will be difficult, but the price of revolution is always dear. If we are patient with her, rapture will come to us. Five dollars to use the toilet. Sign me up. Uh, aspirin. Eve gained from Aspirin. Uh, dollars, dollars. So I spent five dollars, but I got nine dollars. So I guess that was, uh, was worth the risk there. <laughs> Boom! Potted meat. Oh, God, I'm playing Fallout. Uh, what else we got up here? Got a spare Eve hypo on a bench behind me. I'll try to keep in mind. Taste of Adam in weeks. 
Y'all dead? Feel like that this should kill you. This is Dr. Sophia Lam with a message for the people. Remember, you are not alone. Think of me not as leader, but as mother to the Rapture family. Okay, creepy woman. Return. I am back in Rapture after so many years. The little ones I rescued are grown up. Won't think of me no more. After what I once did to them, it was a joy to be forgotten. But now, all around the world, children vanish by the sea, kidnapped. And so I return, in fear of what I already know. Someone is making new little ones, continuing my work, my sins. Even if I am to die for it, I must stop them. So it looks like we're starting to get a, an idea of uh, what's going on in Rapture. Um, it's been several years, and we thought that we had saved all the little girls, but someone else is picking up where Tenenbaum left off. Fortunately, Tenenbaum's around to help us stop this evil. Slim down. Limitless potential with plasmids. You seem dead, Rosie. Rivets. Uh, I guess I'll get a rivet. I was going to say, I guess I'll get a rivet gun. Oh, what good timing. <laughs> Don't you hit me. Die. Ugh. Two rivets. Okay, so that's going to be probably like my, my pistol-esque weapon. And uh, I don't have a ton of ammo for it, but uh, if I need a, if I need to distance myself from enemies, at least now I can. Anyone in here want some of this? An extra Evipo first aid station. Sign me up, baby. Is anyone in here? Don't see anyone? First aid. I'm sure, I can probably. Oh, when hurt, press Control to heal. Oh, okay. I think it used to be. F? And now it's control. Which is weird, but, but C is set to crouch, so whatever. I'm probably not going to remap it. I'll just get used to it. Uh, looking good there. Nothing over here. Running on empty. Fill up with Eve. Hmm. Rapture Metro. Let's, uh, let's check this out first. Bathysphere docking. Oh, man, is this where, where uh, Jack got up? First, what is uh, Hop Up Cola? Burst of caffeine from a bottle of soda will store a small amount of Eve. Like all food and drink, it is consumed immediately. Uh, sure. I'll take it. They call it Rapture. Let's play that. Barely made it down alive. But here it is. And it's real. Rapture. This is where that thing took my... Poor baby girl. From what I saw in the sub, most of the city's in ruins. But there were lights here and there. And shapes moving. Ugh, I'm rambling, scared, I guess. But maybe if I find this Dr. Lamb I keep hearing over the PA, I'll find Cindy too. Ugh! Butthole. So, we ha almost have a situation... Well, I mean, this guy, it's its a little different because he's, like, looking for his, uh, his kid. I also get to remember I can drill people up, which I haven't really needed to do. Shoebox. Scotch. Briefcase. Fine gin, which removes Eve but gives me health. Also, if I drink too much too quickly, I do get a little woozy. Doesn't matter that I'm a big daddy. Still get a little tipsy. Nothing here. Come on. Clear my head. Let's keep it moving. I already killed that guy. There's a ladder to nowhere. And I can't seem to get down into the station. Maybe at some point later I'll be able to. And it looks like our next stop is inside the Adonis Luxury Resort. Which is where we'll be going next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as a reminder, we were told by you know so many developers... Uh, or not developers, uh, reviewers, that, um, you know, the the start of Bioshock 2 is apparently very slow. Personally, I'm I'm having fun. This is good. 
I'm getting some stuff. Things are things are moving along, but uh, apparently the real meat and potatoes is going to start a little bit later. So thanks for joining me. If you have any tips for me that you want me to uh, to be able to utilize, especially in the early game, let me know. I'm going to be recording these in batches, so obviously I'm going to have a few episodes to start the series off, but I will be reading through all of your comments and applying them as soon as I can. So no spoilers, please, but any tips that I could use um, or if you see if you see anything I miss, like if I miss some lore, like a, a diary or something, let me know and I will try and go back and get it. See you guys next time for more Steven Plays, Bioshock 2.